Hey, what is going on guys? Dylan here with Solo Cuts Landscaping and thank you for tuning in to another video here on the Solo Cuts Landscaping YouTube channel. I appreciate every single one of you guys that stopping by and shares this time with me here on the channel. Now today's video, I have a big surprise for you guys. I've kind of leaked a little bit of it out, but I haven't given you guys like the full the full look of what we have done. Guys, we are taking on a new look. We are out with the old, so which is right there. We are out with the old, and we are in with the new. Solo Cuts Landscaping has transformed its look, transformed its image. Guys, I'm just super excited to show you what we have going on, so stick around, stay tuned, enjoy this video. Let's get right into it. My question for you is, like, when you were designing your logo, designing your image, what were some things that you thought about? Like, like, what thought process did you give in to getting your logo? Did you just pay Fiverr? Hey, give me a logo. Um, did you go to a local shop? Uh, did you put a lot of thought into it on like what you want the the mental image to be when folks see your company, see your logo? We'll cover my thought and you know mental process as I went through getting this logo done up. So guys, drop a comment down below. Let me know what is your thought process when you guys designed yours. I'd love to hear what your insight was and what you thought or what look you were going for when you guys did yours. So as you can see. See, we are here at the shop. I have the truck and dump trailer hooked up. Um, we got the mowing trailer in the shop, which we will hook up to that and pull it out so that way you can see it as well. So without further ado, it's time to show you the grand reveal. Let's get it. I'm just super excited. What do you think of that dump trailer? Take a look at that. We have our socials on here. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Our number right across there with our website. The new Solo Cuts Landscaping logo. Then they got us hooked up on the front there. Then we got it on the back window. Alrighty guys, so there you have it. That is our grand reveal of the new logo and the new brand. We're gonna be getting these swapped out. Uh, we're in the process of getting new shirts and all that stuff. Also, be sure to stay tuned for a new giveaway for the uh, the release of the new brand image. You know we're gonna be pumping out some uh, some good old hats. And uh, I, uh, on the first one, we had a lot of great feedback on the hats that we rock, so uh, we're definitely gonna be getting our new logo on those hats. I do wanna to touch base though, you know, on why I have uh, switched off from you know this logo to what we uh, our new logo now, and just kind of give some thought process on the back end of that. It wasn't just to like get a change of pace or or anything like that. There was actually quite a bit of thought that went into it on why I wanted to change what we're doing and you know what we wanted to um, our image to be going forward, what perception we wanted to give to um, you know potential clients or our customers. One of the biggest reasons is um, you know when I had this logo designed. I was still newer into the industry um, and you know like getting out and about and seeing like what other companies were out there I didn't really know of many to be honest I, uh, I didn't know what other people's logo really looked like um, or what they had going on with theirs as I continue to get out in the public more and see you know these other companies running around I then realized that my, there's a lot of there's features of my logo that closely resemble um, some folks in the area you know even some bigger companies like we it closely resembles that and to me that was just something that for one had I known that I probably wouldn't have went with this logo I would have went with something different and you know I don't want them to think like hey I'm trying to copy what they have going on um, but but ultimately there was like I wanted something that was separate that wanted that I wanted something unique I wanted something completely different than what anyone else in our area is um, so we're getting away with this and we're going with this new look I didn't want my company to ultimately get confused with another company and to be honest like that kind of happened because I Was rolling through the bank and the person was like oh I didn't know that was you know your company like we see your trucks around all the time And this is when I was still part-time. So I was like I'm not out that much and For him to say that means like he got me confused with with someone else and I was like that's not good like I don't want to be out there doing work and then they see this logo and then a couple days down the road they see something that resembles this and they think it's the same person and then they end up getting like their contact info. I don't want that. So so that's one big reason why we chose to go with a different look. And two, um, so this, if you can see in there, 
um, if you can see in there, whatever. The grass, it's super common, you know, because it's part of the industry, I get that. But for me, the way I'm wanting to shift our business or just like how the direction we're wanting to take it, I want to be like landscaping and like total property management. That is the route I want to get to. So, um, I feel like grass, with the grass, it just portrayed an image more of lawn care versus like the landscaping end. Um, and I, like, so we had the leaf there. It just has such a clean look and you know it's more towards i would say plant so just to kind of get into people's you know that we're looking for that landscape design install uh, landscape maintenance um you know you're like shrub trimming all that stuff but i it may be something small but i just feel like it just getting rid of the grass look and getting more towards something that looks more um you know plant like i don't know that's just that's just how my mind is working um it may be something small but it's just how I mentally look at it. And also like with the leaf, that is something to where hopefully I can just brand, like when they see that leaf, then they think solo cuts landscaping. So like even when it comes to like just doing hats, it may just be the leaf, you know, just in like on our shirts, it may just be the leaf. Just to like start really pumping that out there as like when they see that, they know who it is. Because like I said, it's completely unique and um, you know, it's something different. Color scheme, everyone in our area is green and white green and white and black that just it just seems like that's what everyone is so we're going with a different color scheme yes we do have some green in there but we have grays we have blues like I said it's just a clean look it's just a different look so then when it comes to even the font like I spent so long looking for the right font I want to use you know like what is something that just I don't want to say is like gives like a high okay I will say something that is just that looks super clean, super professional. Um, like with the spacing and the letters, how big the letters are, but the spacing, there's something about like that spacing and then that font that when you look at it, it just, it almost just looks like high end. I don't know, if you guys ever see like other companies, not necessarily just in long hair landscaping, but if you see other ones, like, um, like these home builders, um, or just, I don't know, I just, when I see that look, it just, to me, it just looks clean, it's professional looking, um, it just, there's something about that, it just gives it like a high-end look. I don't know what it is, but I like that. And that's like, I'm not saying like we're high-end, but like I want to be, like I want to get to being that boutique landscape company. Like that you are getting like high quality, like knowledge-wise. Like that is what we're wanting to shift towards. So like this is all everything going through my mind when I was putting together this logo. So for the sign on the mowing trailer, and I know that's probably gonna be a big question, like what is that made of? So it's like an eighth inch metal, and then that is a wrap basically on the front of it says one solid thing. It's not a bunch of little stickers, it is one solid piece along the front of there. And so now our mowing trailer has signage. I don't think since we've been in business, I may have hung like a yard sign, zip tied it to the back wall. Uh, or the back gate here, but um, but now it has signage, so we're going through. Folks are seeing us out front there, not wondering who the heck it is. Um, we now have signs on the sides. The dump trailer was something important that I wanted to get done, because you know when we're at a job site, like my truck had its logo on there, but like there was nothing else. So now, I mean, my dump trailer is a running billboard. It's parked out front. They see the number. They see where they can check us out at the website. All that they can find it right on the dump trailer so then they can go see you know what we're all about online so so just having that um, as we're, we're at jobs you know if we have to unhook from it, whatever but it's parked out front and it is saying hi hey so the custom landscaping is doing this work don't get as confused with the other guys so anyways I just wanted to get this video out to you to uh, show you like what our new looks gonna be um, like I said stay tuned for the giveaway, um, we'll probably be giving away, I'll probably do a couple hats or something. Uh, so guys, be sure to stay tuned to that because I'll be doing that. I'll probably do one on Instagram and one on YouTube. Um, so that way you have a chance to win both. So if you're not already following us on Instagram, be sure to look us up at Solo Cuts Landscaping on Instagram. Give us a follow, I'd greatly appreciate it. That's where you're gonna get more like day-to-day -day, uh, content, you know, I'll do stories and whatnot. So then here on the YouTube, I've tried to post a couple times a week and um, usually it's, you know, if we're at a job site, videos like this when we're in the shop uh we're doing products all that stuff so um guys be sure if you're not already a subscriber be sure to smash that subscribe button hit that bell so that way you get a notification every time i drop a video so thank you very much for following along i greatly appreciate all of your support and as always remember do what you love love what you do but never no never stop guys we will see you in the next one